Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem next permutation. So this is a very famous problem and it got asked in Facebook, Google and all other companies. So how we will solve this problem? Implement the next permutation which rearranges the numbers into the lexicographically next greater permutation of numbers. If such an arrangement is not possible, it must rearrange it as the lowest possible order. So basically they repeat the cycle if there is no such uh, permutation is available. So the replacement must be done in place and use only constant extra memory. So for example, if 1, 2, 3 is a one permutation, so the next permutation of this guy will be next like 1, 2, 3, then it will become 1, 3, 2. So 1, 3, 2 is the next permutation. And if 3, 2, 1, now the for all the permutation of both these three number, this is the last one is done. Then we have to return the next, the first one, which is one, two, three. So how we will get the idea how to solve. So if you already solved like few of the problem of combinations and permutation, which we got in previous uh, challenges. So you must have some idea. So I have already posted video of solving the permutations to problem. If you haven't solved that problem, you can go ahead and solve that problem first so that you will get the idea. How does the permutations all over is work? So the first solution, what we can do, we can generate all the permutations. So this is the initial number like one, two, three is given as so or by considering all the number in our array, we will generate all possible permutation. So if there are n distinct number, so in this array, we have three distinct number. So number of permutation will be n factorial, which is three factorial here, which is equal to six. So let's see how it will be generated. So here, first what we do, like I explain this in very detail, you can go ahead, just jump on, like these are the six permutation which are already in a lexicographically sorted order. Like, so first it is given as one, two, three, then the next is one, three, two. And if it is given initially like one, three, two itself, then the next of after one, three, two is two, one, three. And the second example is given three, two, one, which is the last of this all permutation of one, two, three, three number. Then we have to go back into the first one. So we have to return. So this is the one idea generate all the permutation. So, but if you generate all the permutation, the time taken of all the permutation will take n factorial and the branch we are going n. So this will take n into n factorial. So if you solve this problem for this way, for this, the constraint is the length can be 100. So which is very big. So this will be definitely time out. So there is no point to go in this brute force approach solution, but how to come up with the optimal solution by knowing this idea. So let's see the pattern. How is this pattern like this permutations of uh, 1, 2, 3 is sorted lexicographically. If you see this 1, 2, 3, then we have 1, 3, 2. So from last element, if we go in this direction, when we are going, it's continuously increasing. At this point, this is getting uh, violated. So whenever is violated, then there is a big change. So what we are doing, so this number, this place where this is not satisfying the continuously decreasing or like from right to left is an increasing pattern. So like this, if we try this, so two is here, three is here, but one is somewhere here for this permutation. Come. So when this break, then what we need to do, we like we already check these numbers are in a increasing order from right to left. Then we will reverse this number. So first of all, before reversing, we need to find out the number on the right part, like from this part to this part, which number is greater than this number. So this two is greater than this number. Just we start from here and check. When we found the first one, we will stop here, swap these two, swap these two first. So this will become two, three, one. Then we need to swap the right part, like whole right part, like reverse all the elements in the right part. So this will become two, one, three, which is the just next permutation like this guy. Similarly here, when we see over here, these two, so this is, uh, this number is greater than this. So this is breaking here itself. So we will take this number and then check the immediate uh, from right to left the greater element by this one. So this three itself one. So we will make swap these two and this will come two, three, one. So this is the idea, key idea 
to understand how we need to solve so let's take another big example so we have let's say number 1 2 3 and 4 now with four number what we need to we need to generate the next permutation so first we start from the end of this so let's say start it from here and compare this element if this element itself greater then we will mark this index this is the place we need to do swapping so we will go into the right part of this array from right to left so that the order in uh, the ele all the elements in right we know it's a uh, dis like in from right to left is increasing so the whenever we find the number wherever we find the first number which is greater than the place we need to swap we will compare and find that place then we swap this number so here this two number we will swap so this will become one two four three now let's say after that let's find the next permutation from this so now our the right place index we start from here this is increasing yes so we don't then this is the place we found that it is not set continuously increasing so we will check the element right side from this place which is greater like starting from right itself so this place so 3 is greater than 2 hence we will swap these two number first so 1 3 4 2 and after swapping we will reverse the whole right part after this index so this index we will reverse this 2 4 so this become 1 3 2 4 is the next permutation of this guy let's go for furthermore we need to so here we itself find so the next one is 1 3 4 2 now let's try to find out after that so similarly we go if we apply this rule so this will become 1 then this will be 4 and 2 and this will be 3 so this is like that we so now you have got the idea you will first pause the video and try to code yourself so let's implement the code so for the coding part what we need to do we need few like two helper method like swapping two numbers in the array and index l and r so i already written down here so this is very simple straightforward one. and also we need to swap the array from the index where after that we have to do this so this is the place and we need to swap all the element from l to r so first we will swap this l lth index element with the rth and then increase l y1 and uh, decrease r y1 until this is satisfied while l is less than r so this is the two method we will going to use now what we need to we will start a pointer i from nums dot length minus 2 so we will take consider the uh, compare ith element with the ith plus 1 here so now first of all we check the from the end like how far long we are getting a increasing sequence from left to right from right to left so we will check if i is greater than or equal to 0 and the nums of i is greater than or equal to nums of i plus 1 if it is then we will keep decreasing the i y1 so keep decrease i y1 after that what we need to do so there is a case we may reach on the i can be on 0 so in that case like the case of this case so this case the i will be here 0 after that we will not go for the left and this all the three element is in sorted in increasing order from right to left so this is the last permutation of this three number so we have to reverse this array and return it that's it so here before that now what we need to do we will check only when i greater than equal to 0 then we will look the number which is greater than the uh, nums of i from right to left side so we will start another pointer j from the right again nums dot length minus 1 and compare while j greater than j greater than equal to 0 and this will be nums of uh, if nums of j is just greater than is just greater than the nums of i if it is we found the number which is greater than this guy so what we will do so this will be break over here if it is so we found so instead of that we will use the condition if it is less than equal to we will keep go in the left side and decrease j y 1 once we found we will swap these two number first swap uh, swap to uh, in the array nums 
at index i and j. And after that, once we swap these two, we will reverse our array element from. So we will use swap array, uh, swap array nums from uh, the index i, the where the play. After that, the nums dot length till the nums dot length minus one. So this index plus one. So so that's it. So let's try to compile the code and see if it is working. Oh, there is uh, cannot find num, so it should be nums. I am passing nums only, so it should be array nums. So let's compile it again, and it is working now. Let's try to test few other test cases like one three two instead of that use one three two, and use like single number itself, and use like three two one, and after that like one two, and another is uh, is there any Better example here one one five. So let's try for one one five as well. So when the duplicate element also there. So one one five. So it should give us one five one. So let's try to run code again. Oh, oh, there is a square bracket missing here. So now let's see diff. There is no diff. So we are getting expected answer. So now we can submit this solution and let's see. So the code got accepted. Now what will be the time complexity? So let's see. Understand the time complexity. So in worst case, what can happen? The array is uh, sorted in descending order. So i will be zero here. So we process all the element once, and this loop will not execute it, and the b just reverse. And when reversing, will taking. The O of n time extra, so the O of n plus O of n, so which is O of two n, and in wind terms of big O, it is O of n solution. Similarly, here if we break this somewhere in middle, then only we are processing only the right part of element to find this again element. So we are finding. So this will be take again, let's say in big O terms O of n, and here also O of n. So overall, it's O of n. And the space, as you can see, we are just using constant space, so it's a O of constant O of one space time complexity, uh, space complexity, and time is O of n. So if you like the solution, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and also share this too in your friend circle. Thanks for watching.